she and jump. Yeah, she always been before. And anyway, so um, so I, I just watched a video from Curse Entertainment called Top Ten, uh, Top Eight Creepiest Locations to Fall in Your Vegas Show. I decided to make it in my own special way. So um, yep, we're about to do them. Just you know, this wish is not in any particular order. Not even curse entertainment. So it will be in a completely randomized order. Just kidding, I'm going from his order. I'm too lazy to come up with my own. Okay? Number eight. After about hearing the wonders of the Sierra Madre, the courier is gassed, which the gas knocks him out, and wakes up the beautiful Sierra Madre. And now the Sierra Madre is full of twisted inhabitants and uh, the dead wing. Red cloud. Very terrible. And there's also the ghost people. Did I mention the ghost people? They're the worst. They're forever trapped in your hazmat suits. Forever. They can never come out. Never, ever, 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 never. Anyways, so they hunt people wandering the Sierra Madre. And sometimes they like to stab their victims to death. Sometimes they drag them into the crowd to kill them. How would you kill Sean Tapperware? <sighs> oh, spoiler word word head. Uh, blah, blah. A spoiler word word head. During your final mission, if you go too deep into the vault, you'll be greeted with a completely different ending to the game. So, after reading a terminal, your vault door will, uh, your casino vault will completely lock, trapping you in the Sierra Madre forever. And at some point, you will just die. And then you are replaced with a hologram to forever. Go throughout the Sierra Madre, doing whatever you wish to. Number seven. And now we have Matthew's Animal Farm Husbandry. Without the, without the diary pages that um, make it creepy, the place is not creepy at all. Except for a um, skeleton. Maybe malnourished brow, I mean, if you're a hippie. But that's besides the point. So, there's a diary of a young boy who lives on the farm. And his parents, one day, went to Camp Searchlight. Now, if you know anything about Fallen New Vegas fandom, then you know that the Legion dumped radioactive barrels irradiating the entire town. Sadly, the parents came the fateful day. Just hours before that happened. And they eventually transformed to ghouls. Then your the boy goes out to find his parents. But then his parents, but then another diary page tells you that his parents attacked him. And he had no choice but to kill him. I mean, how would a kid even kill parents? How would a kid even kill a ghoul? That's the question. But then matters got much worse. So, the young boy started thinking that the animals were evil and plotting against to kill him and eat him. So, he was trying to like outsmart the animals, but really the solution was not smart. He burned down the entire farmhouse. And his remains can be seen next to the diary page to tell you about that. Number 6. The Old Nuclear Test Site. Now, this place isn't really creepy at all. The only th the only reason I think he mentioned um Curtis Entertainment mentioned it was because there's a woman named Trash and she for some reason wants you to become a ghoul and she started experiencing the signs of ghoulification. But really there were just the signs of radiation poisoning and she irradiated herself to death. Really to me it's not creepy at all. It's a bit unsettling when you first arrive, but not really afterwards. 
Number five, your graveyards. Well, here's the main reason why well, even just going maybe I said one to you. Legend has it, which is a quote from the guy who made the original video, that if you go to your graveyard at night and turn your music all the way down, you can hear the coast murmurs. And after that, you may smell some poop in your pants. After all these creepy locations you've been to, I mean, your old nuclear test is not that creepy, like I said. Number four is the X66 Hecro Archipelago. Yeah, big mountains are already kind of scary itself. I mean, so unsaid when not having a companion watching your ass. Even though I'm playing Old World Bruce, and yes, a lot of it is scaring me. I don't think anything about the X6, I forget what you mean, the archipelago is really that scary. I mean, uh, yes, what's it called? The Night Stalkers are scary, and the other enemies there, but they also are said to be spreading. And they're tall, but then when you get to them, they're smaller, which is very creepy, Curse Entertainment says, but really, I don't. I'm not worried about that that really much. I'm more worried about the enemies. So to me, it's not that scary compared to the rest of it, to a lot of the other things in Big Mountain. Number three is Nipton. When you first go to Nipton, you see some guy running saying, I won, I won the lottery. Which I mean, everybody would want to win. But it's never, it's not a regular lottery. According to the leader, Volpe Zing and Kota, Nipton was a lot like a good, good, good got more a terrible place for a, uh, just awful. They did bad things, but it had to be punished. The way you said it had to be punished. So everybody was forced into a lot. The winner received his wife. She got the second per contestant. Well, I guess you could say second place. Did you also get wife? Well, yeah, but your wedge just got smashed. It got smashed bad, and everybody else was either burned or crucified. And if you tried to escape, well, you could try, but you'd probably get killed by some Legion Mongols. And there's bark scorpions around the town, so I don't see any reliable place to go to besides Novak, which is close by, but it's pretty far. And when I did first go to Novak from Nipton, I did run into Powder Gang or so. Really, um, if you were in that situation, you would be screwed. Unless you have a bazooka or something like that. Number two is the Ultrux Gourmet. So, at the Ultrux, the meat is very fine, everything is fine. The uh, White Glove members, aka the casino staff, they're weird, those two. They wear masks. For some reason. And also, they, are, they used to be candy bars. And your weed, your Mormitter, well, technically not your weeder, but Mormitter, wants them to go back to candy bars because they used to be drugs and blah, blah, blah. I can't explain now. So, what they're doing is, is they're kidnapping visitors to the hotel, killing them and using their meat. And saying that it's Brahmin steak meat. And they say, and the steaks are always served not too long after the kidnappings, but they say it's just a complete coincidence. Yeah, sure it is. And then after you complete, complete Beyond the Beef, there's a couple of different options. You can side with the White Glove Society, or kill them, or solve things peacefully and stop their candy boys problem. But <laughs> do. And finally, number one is Quarry Junction. Quarry Junction doesn't have that creepy of a backstory. There were dead claws, some dead claws randomly came by and killed them and killed a good amount of people. It's just, you get that weird, creepy feeling, don't you, when you encounter dead claws? Now, players who were idiots decided, oh, there's dead claws, but. You know, you're always alone like in Fallout 3. Totally, they didn't change it to Patrick Vaughn in Vegas. 
I'm pretty sure they're not Carter, right? Actually, I only want to Corey Junction because I just want to see what your are like. I say, I just want to be like, hey, what's up? And you're like, oh, we got a problem. What's the problem? We need more poop. <sighs> you just get out of your feeling, don't you? And yeah, yes, Corey, are much harder. They jump at you. They do everything. And now it is the creepiest Fall New Vegas versions, originally by Curse Entertainment and redone by me.